seven string players. What the f is wrong with you? How do you do it? Like six wasn't enough. Like too good for a baritone. <laughs> You're just carrying an ambient spare string with you at all times. I'm very annoyed. Greetings, fellow brethren and denizens of the uh, string infested shred realm. I require your help. It's doing my f head in. There are times when I am even paid to demonstrate this kind of a guitar and I just struggle and to be quite honest with you, um, it's a bit embarrassing. I'd really love any help, any recommendations in the comment section below. Please just let me know, even if it's like funny stuff, to bring my spirits up Diablo 2 way better than the current situation we're in now. Uh, okay, this is what I got. <clears throat> it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's the signature model from Chapman Guitars for Diego, guitar player from Lacuna Coil. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It is absolutely stunning. And I will do it zero justice. <laughs> nah. This thing is like one of the nicest looking guitars. The top is a black limber top. Uh, Duncan Distortions, um, mahogany body. It's got a baked maple neck, stainless steel frets. It's everything I would want in a seven string. And I suck so hard at playing it. <laughs> and I want to talk about why I think it is and see if there's anything you can do to help me. This is what I think it comes down to. It's not necessarily just a physical thing. Um, measurements. When I'm looking at my guitar, from I look from the top down. I don't really look at all, but I'm, I'm measuring from the top down. And I'm seeing my root being on the low string. And then I measure intervallically from that root down. So, you know, I go, uh, this is a fifth. This is a fourth. This is a third, a sixth. This is a flat seven and I carry it down. I can't do that. Can't is the wrong word. I have never done that from the bottom up. And as a result, the addition of an extra low string completely throws out my sense of navigation. <laughs> Basically, I think that I've worked out I need to relearn the bottom of the pentatonic shapes and the five modal heads so that I have my placement back. Uh, and what I need to do is make an exercise for that. <sighs> Unless I just like get Tom Quayle on its ass and tune everything to fourths. And then everything is it easier, harder, I don't know, but it just feels like maybe that's the way around because I'm really getting thrown by this stupid low end string um, or I tune it differently. Because lot, I know a lot of people, you're all gonna be saying, and I know you're gonna be commenting, you tune it, you know, like as if it's an E. I've done that before, but man, that throws me because then at the top, all of my licks are wrong. <laughs> what do I do? It's because I'm wearing a watch. I'm finding the neck. I mean, it's skinny. I think I've worked it out. I've just tuned it like a regular guitar with an extra um, high string. Not not the same pitches, but imagine intervallically E, A, D, G, B, E, and then A. And now I can play it and it sounds fucking epic. I mean, it really does sound epic. Is it cheating? Is it cheating? Just tell me honestly, man. <laughs> Oh man, it's still hard. <laughs> it's interesting, like all of my licks now have this extra bit at the top that I can experiment with. For example, my Dorian pentatonic with now going... fell off the string, it's so annoying. Ah, no, 
Yeah. Got to work on my hybrid because it's just all over the place. But this feels a lot more comfortable for me now. Not that it's a, a good excuse <laughs> particularly, but I've noticed that for me, this neck pickup is too high. And what I need to do is, is drop it down um, a bit. And the reason for that is when I hybrid pick, I find neck pickups tend to get in the way. I also like a big volume difference between my bridge and my neck. So I'm winding this bad boy down. The next thing is I like quite a high action. I know that's a little bit counterintuitive. And for me, this is a little bit low. So I'm gonna adjust the saddles, get my tools uh, and whack it down now. You know, if your pickups are really high to the strings, they pull on the strings. Even this bridge is a little bit high, to be honest with you. It's not as if these are low output pickups, you know, they can definitely go down a scotch and it's not an issue. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's where it should be, in my opinion. And now on Rob Chapman loses his marbles and trying to work out whether it's the action or the neck relief, because I like quite a bit of both. I'm gonna give this just a touch more relief. Also, I've just noticed that the strings are quite skinny. So now I've tuned it to like C, F, B, E, G, C, F. This tune is really good, by the way. It, it accounts for uh, the the sag, the boom up when you hit a string quite hard, which is really good. But I noticed the strings are quite skinny for me. I normally use 10 to 52s in E flat, and I think this is a light seven string gauge. So I've, I've tuned it up, uh, raised the action a little bit, and now it feels really good. <laughs> You know what I want though? I want a plain D string. It's kind of weird because it's wound. I've come to some kind of peace uh, with the whole thing. Um, I think this is the way forward for me. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm not kidding. I know this is kind of a funny video, but I am genuinely interested in how you approach playing seven, if you've been playing six for a long, a long time, um, because I am aged. <laughs> love you guys. Have a tremendously lovely day. Chappers out.